Well, welcome everybody to week two of our online program for January. Uh, this is for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in beautiful Powell River, British Columbia. And this month, uh, January, uh, we're talking about relationships and how important they are to recovery. And those of you who have found a community, have found a place to belong, are probably feeling pretty good. And those of you who are struggling, who may be lying on the couch and do nothing, maybe you're probably suffering a little more than, uh, than the people who are out there in the community. And that makes perfect sense uh, from a human being's point of view. Remember that movie, uh, Castaway with Tom Hanks? I mean, here's a guy totally alone, and he actually starts, well, he puts that face on, actually, I can't remember what it is, a coconut or something, right? And starts talking to this thing. That's really normal human stuff, that need to relate to other people, even in the case of it's an inanimate object. Because human beings, as we mentioned last week, are hardwired to be around other human beings. In fact, we know if we had to, uh, uh, we know from psychology that if we had to pick the big three things uh, that will help you in your uh, well-being and your pursuit of happiness, it would probably be the concepts of one, you are the author of your life. Uh, two, that you are able to achieve things in your life, accomplish goals. And then the third one would always be this, uh, what the psychologists call relatedness, this connection, this deeply felt belief that uh, you are part of whatever it is that you want to be part of. Those three things are known uh, from our uh, research to be, to be key to recovery, in fact, key to living the good life. So this, uh, all this stuff about relationships is pretty big. And you remember uh, when I talked about this guy, I did a lot of research on Eugene O'Neill, the great Nobel Prize winning uh, addict writer. I mean, this guy was in active addiction for I don't know how many years. And, but he knew early on his actual problem, which he, he, he wrote about and he told us about. And he said that his actual problem was that he, would, he said he always felt a stranger who could never belong, who will always be alone. And so even at an early age, Eugene O'Neill understood that all this drinking, this active addiction was forcing him into this place where he just felt alone with no connection to anything. He even said in one play, it would have been much better if he'd been born a bird. That way he wouldn't have to be conscious of this or think about it. He'd just be part of the flock and then he'd fit in and have no problem at all. But this idea of to be comfortable in whatever surrounding you're in is so essential and it's just part of what it means to be human if you've ever wondered about the uh, that little saying in the 12-step program right what we cannot do alone we can do together it's got nothing to do like i know some people are offended by this right oh what are you talking about i can do it i'm tough you know it's got nothing to do with that what it's got to do with is just a, an observation about what it means to be human is that in a community in a place where you have this sense of belonging, you can get things accomplished. You can feel better about yourself, which you can never pull off when you're alone. There are some people who are alone. Uh, we know, for example, uh, cloistered monks or people who go off in the forest and you know spend all this time. Uh, yeah, but they're not actually alone either. Either they're with nature and for the religious ones, they're with God. So they're not actually alone, technically speaking. And we don't actually recommend that for recovery either. Although, I suppose some, somebody somewhere has probably pulled it off. But it, it, it is to get this, to satisfy this human need for connection. Uh, that's what I think the 12-step program was about and, and why it just assumes that it's always we, you know, we did this, we did that, we, were, uh, we felt good uh, being together, we, we were able to solve problems as a team. We were able to get input from other people so we weren't blinded by our own self-centeredness. All of this stuff is, is all wrapped up in the idea of relationships. 
Okay, so it's a good thing to keep in mind, both from the 12 step point of view and from the research point of view, and then movies like uh, Tom Hanks and Castaway, right? And from Eugene O'Neill's plays, is this recognition that we, we really do need community and we do need to find a place to belong. So I would encourage you, uh, uh, those of you who have done, haven't done this, is, is, is get out there and get part of, because it is just who human beings are. It is just part of our needs, uh, part of uh, what makes us happy, is this feeling of support, this feeling of validation from uh, people. And as you remember too from drugs in the brain, when you surround yourself with supportive people, right, your serotonin levels go up. And serotonin is known as the happy drug. On the other hand, the exact opposite can happen if you lock yourself away in the basement and sit on the couch and watch TV all day and don't talk to anybody, you're gonna get the exact opposite thing, right? Your serotonin levels will plummet, okay? So all of these things are, are good. So. But the key point is here is uh, if you want to feel better about yourself, you want better recovery and everything, get out there and join a community. And as you all know, you know, uh, we would encourage you to join the 12 step program. But it, you know, I mean, that's an absolute requirement. People did actually clean up before 1939. But you can find some group that you will, you, you, you are of like minded thinkers. But the key is you got to feel comfortable there. You got to feel part of that's going to satisfy that need. Anyway, that's this week's uh, online program, and uh, we'll see you next week.